Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is a, a different topic, <laughs> kind of funny, but we have to talk about it because this is getting serious, right? Do you believe that uh, the number nine shirt at Chelsea Football Club is cursed? <laughs> Think about it. Because somebody, a friend of mine, told me that during the African Cup of Nations, uh, it was uh, like a juju guy in the stand, you know, the voodoo people, <laughs> and they were manipulating the game. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. You know, just like a video game or something. <laughs> so if you believe on those things, please leave your comment and let me know if there's anything we can do here because I, I just don't get it. <laughs> okay, people, so... Tommy Abram is the guy that took the number nine shirt and said, you know what? I'm Tommy Abram and I am going to defeat the curse. Okay. And he did well. He did well. Remember the first season? 16 goals, no penalties, no free kicks, and missed so many games during the season and still finished our top scorer. The second season, remember also, our top scorer without playing many games. Literally didn't play half of the season and was injured under Frank Lampard and Thomas Tuchel didn't want to even give him a chance. But still score more goals than anybody in the team. But not good enough because they were typing and when the narrative starts rolling, you can't stop it. It's become a mindset. A goal from Tammy Abram doesn't count. Only from Lewandowski will count. So, uh, yeah, interesting here to see what's going on with our number nine. <laughs> so Lukaku just became the latest victim of uh, the number one so-called cursed. Do you believe that is a curse in the number nine or just a coincidence? Do you believe that if Lukaku was played in his natural position in the right system, he was not going to score 20 goals? Just think about it before jumping to narrative. You know what I mean? So you see all kind of memes here. <laughs> Uh, from uh, other fans but also from Chelsea fans who wanna the number 9 shirt to retire do you think we should retire the number 9, burn it or take it to a pastor somewhere in Nigeria you know, powerful pastor or take it to a himam or somebody who got uh, God power to defeat the evil <laughs> in number 9 shirt you know what I mean? So let me know if what should we do with number nine? If we sign Richarlison or we sign, let's say, Gabriel Jesus, do you think he should take the number nine or he should stay away from number nine? Jesus kind of goes good with number nine because he's, he's, he's Jesus, right? Gabriel Jesus. What, what a spiritual name. So if he wears a cursed shirt, I think he's going to defeat the curse. The curse is going to be over. <laughs> I mean, are we going to hide some lack of skills from certain players to, to, the, to the shirt, to the number at the back of their shirt? I'm not too sure, but looks like uh, many people believe, believe on what is happening. So as you can tell, a lot of memes on Lukaku. Pira, Pira Osgood. He was number nine. It was never a problem with this guy here. The best of the best in the business. This is a very good point. For me, you have to, to, to make your own number, my friend. It's not about the number. Number don't make people. People make numbers. 
So if we jump quickly here and double check on people who wore um, number nine in the recent years, you will see that is a pardon. There is a big pardon here. And that's why I have a lot of respect towards Tammy Abraham because he he had the courage to say, you know what? This is me. I'm, my name is Abraham, okay? That is a God's name. Call me Tammy, Tammy Abraham. I'm going to take number nine and I'm going to show you that it's just a number. But if you look at the story or the history of our number nine here, Bula Bula Ruse. Remember him under Jose Moreno? Flop. I don't even remember what game he played for Chelsea. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Falcao. Oh my goodness. Can you even believe Falcao? Hasselbank. He was a very good one. No, he's not a flop at all. Very good. Viali was good. Torres. Uh, Torres, I think, the goal that he scored against uh, Barcelona in the Champions League pretty much paid everything off. So Torres, I can say, 50-50. Morata, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Falcao, number nine. And we're talking about number nine, number nine. Not everybody that played in that position. The position number nine is different than the shirt number nine because people are going to remind me about Diego Costa. He didn't wear the shirt number nine, but he played the position number nine. So Morata even changed his number to, <laughs> to number 29, but still flopped. So that tells you sometimes it's not about the number. And oh, remember him, Higuain, <laughs> number nine, Higuain, oh my goodness, my goodness me, I think the narrative is going to continue, Chenchenko didn't wear number nine, he only wear number seven, so you can't put him in this category of numbers. Bad luck or bad players? Yeah, I remember this video. This is my video, by the way. I can find it on on Google here, image. Bad luck or bad players? You know, it's the number nine. Got a bad luck or it's just because bad players that can't perform wearing number nine. There are certain players that you can give them number 10, the blessed number the Eden Hazard number, and they're still not performing. So it doesn't mean anything at the end, but it's going to be very interesting to see, my friend, what do you think about the whole shirt number nine curse or so-called curse at Chelsea Football Club?